From the smartphones that rarely leave our sides to the PCs that are enabling the future of work, modem RF technologies are powering the most advanced 5G mobile devices around the world. I'm Pritika Adyanthaya from the Modem RF product management team at Qualcomm Technologies. I've been working on mobile hardware platforms for over 15 years. I get to see firsthand how the strong 5G foundation we've helped build is driving commercialization. Today, more than 150 operators have launched 5G services, and it is expected that 5G device shipments will increase from 225 million in 2020 to between 450 and 550 million in 2021. I'm excited to watch that momentum continue. With 5G networks expanding and 5G device shipments accelerating, I'm here today to give you an under the hood look at the modem RF technologies powering the most advanced 5G mobile devices. I also tell you about the new features that will drive the next wave of 5G smartphones and mobile broadband products. First, let me give you some context. Even though the first 5G in the world was available with 3GPP release 15, it was largely the initial foundation that 5G would be built on. Release 15 helped roll out initial 5G NR networks and devices, but it's release 16 that will help bring about the true promise of 5G. With capabilities such as ultra low latency and advanced power saving techniques, that will enable industrial IoT and 5G private networks. With release 16, we'll start to see what 5G networks and devices are making possible for the ecosystem and across industries. Earlier this year, we announced the Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 5G modem RF system, which is the world's first 10 gigabit 5G and first release 16 solution. Today, over 900 5G devices have either launched or are in development on Snapdragon 5G modem RF systems. As 5G networks and devices continue to evolve for better performance and coverage, X65's breakthrough upgradable architecture enables us to rapidly add new features and capabilities via software upgrades. Using this upgradability, Today, we're announcing added support for new features in Snapdragon X65 that will enhance spectrum aggregation, throughput, coverage, and power efficiency. Let me start with spectrum aggregation. New spectrum is being made available around the world in many geographies to help expand network capacity and coverage. But there's another side to that availability that we have to consider timely and widespread deployment of 5G can only succeed if operators can flexibly aggregate spectrum in standalone and non-standalone modes across sub-6 and millimeter wave bands. For this very reason, Snapdragon X65 supports the aggregation of up to one gigahertz of millimeter wave spectrum and up to 300 megahertz of sub-6 gigahertz spectrum. X65 will also support millimeter wave in standalone mode. This will help operators in markets such as China accelerate the adoption and deployment of millimeter wave for the ultimate 5G experience for their users. At Qualcomm, we want to ensure that our 5G platforms provide unmatched spectrum aggregation and ultimate flexibility to global operators so they can maximize their spectrum assets to bring you the best 5G. And then there's the topic that's always on smartphone users' minds, battery life. With Snapdragon X65, we introduced Qualcomm PowerSafe 2.0, which is designed to improve battery life even with data-hungry applications. Today, we're enhancing the suite of Release 15 and Release 16 power-saving technologies in PowerSafe 2.0 with new advanced techniques, such as Release 16 UE Assisted Information, or UAI for short. With UAI, the device and base station exchange critical information to dynamically optimize various connection parameters. These include the number of carriers, allocated bandwidth, number of layers, and more. All these enhancements are made possible by the software upgradable architecture that X65 is built on. 
As we speak of high performance architecture, remember that the modem RF system is a full system that consists of the baseband, the RF transceiver, RF front end components, and antenna modules. This allows for full system technologies such as wideband envelope tracking and AI enhanced signal boost to improve performance. As you can see, the suite of system technologies addresses several vectors of performance across sub-6 and millimeter wave, from downlink and uplink throughput to power efficiency. OEMs recognize the advantage of this system level integration, and we're seeing strong adoption of the full modem RF system in flagship smartphones. These improvements just wouldn't be possible by piecing together discrete components. If you're interested in diving deeper into this topic, visit our website. I've spent a good amount of time talking to you today about the innovations we have for smartphones. But 5G is transforming user experiences across all types of connected devices, like laptops and PCs. Let me tell you about the exciting updates we have for mobile broadband. In 2020, we witnessed dramatic growth in data consumption. It was largely driven by employees and businesses adopting new remote working arrangements and consumers spending more time streaming movies and shows, shopping online, and digitally connecting with families and friends. The demand for mobile connectivity in PCs, laptops, and tablets increased faster than most people expected. And Qualcomm is responding. We're driving the accelerated expansion of 5G in the mobile broadband segment. Today, we're announcing the Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 and X62 5G M.2 reference designs to help OEMs build 5G cards for PCs and laptops, including always-on, always-connected PCs, as well as CPEs, XR, gaming devices, and more. With the same consumer-friendly M.2 form factor and interface that's common in solid-state drives, with these 5G cards, users will be able to upgrade their devices to enjoy 5G connectivity at home, in the workplace, and beyond. Our vision for 5G global connectivity means putting more devices in the hands of more people around the globe. With 5G available in all tiers, from Snapdragon 400 to Snapdragon 800, we're helping to make that possible. We're thrilled with the tremendous pace of 5G adoption and are excited to continue pushing 5G boundaries with Release 16 and our portfolio of 5G modem RF systems. If you'd like to learn more about our recent announcements, please visit Qualcomm.com. Thank you for joining me today.